Now at 6, we're tracking some heavy rain and some thunderstorms, and the system is set to move in over the next few hours. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Evan in for Lisa Hughes. And right after the rain, a heat wave. Hmm. But first, our Stormwatch weather alert. We're going to get right to Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher. We need this rain. Definitely, especially with the heat on the way in. We could use some of that rainfall to keep the gardens, the lawns happy before we really kick it up into some midsummer type of heat. Now, this is our storm system that we're watching tonight. Initially, it's just some rain showers heading in our direction. That rain spreading across New York State into western New England and a few raindrops kind of scattered about the area, a few sprinkles. Best chance for some showers as we head into this evening will be across New Hampshire and northern Massachusetts, while areas from Boston south and east will stay mainly dry. So the Sox will be fine at Fenway tonight, taking on the Angels. And then as we head toward tomorrow morning, this is where we get our highest concentration of scattered downpours, some thunder. Main issue here would be a lot of standing water on the roadways at times throughout the morning commute. And then as we go into the afternoon, still tracking some scattered downpours, some rumbles of thunder. There could be one more around in the evening before we start to dry out heading into tomorrow night. Again, the main hazard, there could be an isolated severe storm tomorrow, but the main issue would be in those heavier tropical downpours, some street flooding. So take it easy out there on the roads. We'll hope to stack up as much rain as we can in a short time before we get to the heat. And we're talking some big heat. We'll take a look at that heat wave coming up in just a little bit. David and Paula. All right, Eric, thank you so much.